Hey guys. Uh, it's been a while since I streamed. It's been kind of a rough few weeks, unfortunately. Not weeks, few couple days. Um, a lot to get into, really. But, you know, the main thing we want to get into is Death Road to Canada. Let's just start up a new game. We're going to just go for whatever... Per, whatever uh, achievements we can here. We're gonna do rare character mode more, more of that. That seems nice and fun. No, no, don't start. We need a leader now. Let's start with Seamus this time. I like him. Tal is always good, but let's try someone. Do we haven't played as Scarcy in a while, so he's our gunner that can uh, steal for us. Let's go. So yeah, just yesterday I was in a small fender bender. The other driver was at fault. That kind of threw me off. Uh, let's see, scavenge for all the ammo you need. That's fine. Uh, some things were happening with my family I had to take care of. And uh, also, I'm still kind of fighting with my health insurance because my job's claiming, oh, you make too much, you can't get covered or some crap like that. And, a lot of things going on. Let's go with the rest stop. But you know, enough about real life stuff. We're just gonna lose ourselves into a zombie apocalypse. I always like it, Seamus. You got a very good build here. Jamie's just such a bland character that I've, I haven't really fleshed him out yet in my stories, so. <laughs> All I got on him is, oh, he, he punches things. Okay. Alright, let's give... Scarcy that. That's a femur, which you really don't need. I'm going to take your frying pan and just drop it because it's so stupid. And give you this and that. I'll let him have his pick of weapons there. Oh. Also, if you hear anything in the background, that's my radio playing. Or rather, my family's uh, radio playing in the background, their alarm. Unfortunately, my room's not very sealed. <laughs> Furniture is like my favorite thing in this game. <laughs> Ever since uh, that the last bodybuilder used uh, a fridge and a bathtub to attack with, it's been awesome. All right, cleared up the first stage. The first stage is always a little bit boring. Marshmallows. Restaurant or pet shop? I'm going to go with the restaurant. May as well pick up a little extra food. Uh, pet shop usually just has a little bit of food. I'll give this to Seamus. Oh, it's 6 p.m. In that case... I'll give this to Scarzy because it's breakable. You probably want to use it over the hatchet anyway. Oh, I can't lift that. Darn. Shame it's got to work out more, man. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I probably couldn't lift 
lift it and throw a uh, couch chair. That's a little bit tough. God, I missed this game. This game is just so much fun. <laughs> so I do have to give you a warning. Um, I may have to take a phone call during the stream. I don't know. I don't know yet because uh, I'm waiting for a call from my insurance. Not my car insurance, but my uh, health insurance. And uh, I gotta make. I guess gotta make sure if they do call, I do have to answer it. It's important. They didn't answer me back the other day, so it's like, uh. Let's give you that for now. I just want him to be breaking those in. The hatchet could tire you out a little. But, you know, after watching the characters use of all these various different gears and such, it made me think, like... How would it be to wield some of these? So, like, I took a hammer, for instance, and tried swinging it just downward just to see how it goes, and yeah, that that will tire out pretty fast. Not unless you're very, very fit, and even then, it'll tire you out. It'll tire you out after a while. But yeah, it's probably a little unfair to be calling any of them weak or whatever for not being able to wield something that heavy repeatedly and over and over. So, I don't know, I would think I could at least right, start with the right hand with the hammer and then go with the left, but maybe they use both hands. Very glad I got the flashlight here. Nope. Nope, garbage house. glad that apparently the flashlight doesn't run on batteries, just durability, so you don't swing it. Alright. Dead here. Um, where's the restaurant? Oh, it's up in that corner there. I thought another glitch happened. I was about to be like, really? Already? Throwing chairs is a little bit tougher than, say, throwing and then wielding weapons, too. Like, that's another thing I could see getting tired with really fast. Throwing small tables wouldn't be so bad. Seriously, like, just try to pick up a chair and imagine throwing it repeatedly, trying to re throw it repeatedly. It ain't easy. Food rooms are in here, probably. Here we go. I'll take these. Same with throwing shells. That's probably going to tie you out. Alright, just a dumb brain. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Well, time to leave. Yeah, since this is still a beginning, we're not going to get very big uh, maps yet. Plenty of food, but now we could use some more gas and medical. 
Can we should run these zombies down with the car. Your group is ambushed, ambushed by a yelling man. He is ranting and raving. He doesn't look particularly dangerous, but those rants are starting to sizzle. sizzle. Run away or fight him. Let's fight him. The group fights the cantankerous man. It's over very quickly, but he ended up doing some damage before he ran off. <laughs> I never had that option. Usually people were willing to listen. Why does morale go down? Send someone to siphon out the gas. Scarcy. Seamus is the fighter. We can't have him being tired. Warning, you can get hot wings, but you'll get hurt. We're okay on food. The group decides it's too risky even for wings. Man, they sure smell good, though. I mean, if there was an option to, you know, open it with, with some, uh, with, like, tools or gloves or something, I would do it. But, you know... You no, know, logically, you have to get it now or never get it. Nope. I mean, I would open it with maybe like a stick or something. Who the hell are you? Weapons bartering. Oh, she wants to buy weapons. Yeah, we have nothing worth so uh, selling. Oh, hey, there's Rambo. I'm good, though. We already sent, got you to Canada. Gas and he'll give food. I might rob, but I don't know. We're kind of damaged, though. It might not be a good idea. Gas for sale. Hmm. Nah. He's the more likely one to rob them. Oh, wait. Here we go. Nine for group achievement. And then I can steal. Oh man. This guy. He's the one that changes your genetic makeup, and I kinda want to, but it's I wanna do it on a special more special character than one of our mine. Alright, these are always a good deal, but it's a little early, so I'll just do Yeah, I'll trade for ten. Cause that's a good deal. Good deal, dog. And now I'm gonna rob. We'll take the gas. A lovely horse. Imagine being a horse. Morale up, hooray. Because I'm not recruiting him. He is useless and I've already taken him to Canada. Siege time. go. Dude, Scarcy! drop any frames and my mic's on good <laughs> had the uh, it, problem where I ended up uh... oh wait nope stay here I want to grab the stuff first once I left the mic off so <laughs> I want to make sure I didn't do that again anything else no let's go Scotty yeah. brags about a car they used to own well, that's nice Strength, medical, mechanical. I'm gonna go with strength, actually. Oh, I have full Zombo points. Cool. One second. Let's use those up. Yeah, I can resume it later. Toilet grade upgrade ultimate. 
Toilet G now have occur have now occur every 50 open toilets. Nice. All we got left is Trader Gnomes, which are stupid. All right, let's continue. One second. Sorry, I was just checking something. All right, we're good. Road trip. Inferno. Oh, but God damn it. None of one's fireproof. I should have had Willow. I really want to go in there, but no, I, it's too dangerous. Let's just go with Grocery Rescue. Alright, you're not using these, so I'll just take them off of you. I'd rather. I don't know which is better the hatchet or the tire iron. Hatchet does better damage, tire iron gets them tired less quickly. Probably better off with the tire iron then. Hey Sarah! Yeah. <laughs> Lots been going on lately. <laughs> Playing my zombie game now again. <laughs> Had a heckler come in also too, so I just kind of banned him. It's like, okay, that's nice, go away. Uh, you know, yesterday, actually, yeah, I can tell you then. So, uh, yesterday, on my way to work, I got into a fender bender. Someone reversed right into me. Uh, um, it was like ridiculous. Uh, they admitted fault to the police officer, so it should be okay. I, my insurance called me today and said, like, as long as the police report um, says what I said, essentially, uh, they should be paying for it. I don't have collision on my on my uh, insurance, unfortunately, though. So, like, uh, it has to be on them. Also, more importantly, um, mom was in the hospital on Monday because uh, earlier in the week she had heart attack-like symptoms. Turned out not to be a heart attack, no need to panic or anything, just, uh, it, we just were being safe, just insisted. Uh, it, it was something off, but, uh, but it was, uh, what do you call it? Again, it was clear to be, not, it was not a heart attack. Um, they also cleared her a bunch of other things, but essentially, uh, she's okay. Just gotta follow up with her doctor soon. Just wanted to let you know, because while well, I'm thinking of it, we didn't say anything yet because we didn't, we, it wasn't like a, abs, anything absolute. I mean, I haven't even told the rest. We haven't even told the rest of our families. I just told the rest of the internet, though. <laughs> but yeah, just letting you know too. Uh, she's doing okay, though. Yeah, if it was like immediately, if we felt like it was much more immediately serious, like it was serious, but it wasn't like like we weren't sure how serious it was just yet at the time. And we were waiting for absolutely positive evidence before telling everybody. She would have been at JFK, so I imagine you would have been able to... She was at JFK, so I imagine you would have been able to get there. So, if you need, if you felt you could, anyway. It's more possible than, say, South Amboy. Or, like, uh, friggin' anywhere else, like Edison and... Well, some Edison parts, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah... Uh, 
I know. And also my insurance is giving me crap because my job is claiming I make too much money. It's like, yeah, okay. I think I'd mentioned this before. You had a scary night last night. You woke up and your heart was racing. Oh. Yeah, you know... Mine was doing that the night where my where my mother was in the hospital. Okay, I did mention that. Okay, yeah, they're still giving me crap about that. So I've been calling them every day to be annoying. You know, I had the yeah, I had my heart racing a little bit when I was worried about my my mo mother and all that, and that made me really it freaked me out more than it should have too. So I was like, oh no 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 no, but uh, it's gone down. It's fine, but that's more dangerous. So yeah. So I, yeah, so, is you, how are you doing now, though? Uh, is your heart, did your heart, like, alleviate itself? Have, it's okay now? I hope so. And looks like we cleared this, so we can get going. You're okay now? You had to cool yourself down. All right. One thing I kept doing was taking deep breaths and sipping water. Also, a little bit of yoga helps, too. Like, nothing... No no strenuous ones, though. Anyway, Anner... Give us some fitness training. Thank you. They throws are awful. Cars don't last long on them. That's nice, Garthy. You got an ice pack and cold water. Because you're in a hot room all day and night. Oh, jeez. Oh, good. This is... Uh, we'll swap to classic car. That was good timing. Yeah, that's smart. Ugh. Hobbling traveler. Oh, this is the three people dogs in a dog suit. Well, you know what? They can come this time. Hello, woof. Three dogs in a coat. You're a weirdo. Oh, that's mean. I thought you had, like, air conditioning in parts of your house, though. Let's see. Repairing things? No. Okay, let's see. Office building. Cof or coffee shop. Uh, coffee shop. Office building. Sorry. Yes, the other part of the house, but I decided to stay in your room. Okay. Well, what well, you could probably handle these. Let's go right to the coffee shop. Nope. Broke the... I broke the friggin' chair. That was my intention. I wanted to throw it. Right now we're oh, doing okay at least. Both both of us. Your heart's doing good. My heart and I'm okay at the moment at least. And now I'm all coffeeed up. <laughs> My character is anyway. Scarcy, your turn. And now what? I had a dream about your family last night. Oh really? What happened? I have a dream. I'll, I have a dream that also I want to share too, but uh, it was just a generic weird dream. <laughs> and I dreamed you had both. To, aww, Faith and Willow. I have, that that would honestly be, if I could go back in time, that would be the ideal thing to do. <laughs> I've had dreams where she basically was. Visiting from the afterlife, it was kind of cool. <laughs> like, you know, she only could be here for a little bit, of a short time, and it's like, oh, that's how it works now. Okay. <laughs> It'd be nice if that's how it worked, you know? <laughs> but then I guess death wouldn't have as much meaning then. It's a sad, morbid topic, though. 
In any case, we should probably step off of that. <laughs> anyway, let's be happy her for playing games and killing zombies. <laughs> but, uh, actually, I had a very weird dream where I dreamt that, uh, my... I was in a weird, foggy place. It vaguely looked like my, my workplace, but, uh, it was like, again, it was just really foggy. I couldn't really see it or identify it very well. And... A co-worker came up to me and was like, man, where are we? I was like, I don't know. This doesn't make sense. And he's like, you know what? I wonder if this is a dream. I was like, I was like really? Wait, whose dream is it? He's like, I don't know. And then um, I was like, well, tell you what. If you remember this dream, uh, tell me next time we see each other at work. He's like, all right, you do the same. And I woke up and <laughs> I went to when I went to work and next time I saw him, um, I asked him about it and he was like, no, I'm sorry, man. I wish I could even mess with you about that, too, but no, I, <laughs> I did not. I, did, I didn't have that dream. I was like, damn, that would have been cool and creepy, but cool. <laughs> he did say that was, it was a very interesting idea for a dream. <laughs> Dreams are funny as hell like that and scary. <laughs> Uh, ooh, umbrella. Oh, good, he got it. Yep, coffee gives you temporary strength. That's why uh, Chambers here could lift the bed. Nope. Anything in here? Nope. Alright, we're done. Let's just avoid those bozos. Get to the car. At least my insurance said as long as uh, the police report um, matches to my what to my description of what happened, that uh, that uh, I should I should not have to pay out of pocket. But we'll see. Who's going to repair stuff? Um, Scarcy probably sucks at it. Wolf probably sucks at it. Seamus, you try. He actually gets a lot of cuts and scrapes and bruises. He learns about repair the hard way. Well, okay. I figured Chambers could use some more redeeming qualities because he can only... He won't be able to use guns later. I can't wait to fight some zombies. You know what? We're going to get tired. Be tired. Get, get some extra food. Twinkie truck. Jimmy it open. Wolf doesn't have a... Smash it with something heavy, Chambers. Yes, he's strong enough. More food. Who wouldn't want some... Rotten yet not rotten Twinkies. Din! I love Din. Come on, Din. Another muscle on the team, and he doesn't get tired. We need more loot so we can do some more shooting. <laughs> Lucario there. Uh, roadside rescue or grocery store. Grocery store would give us more food, but we're okay on food. Roadside rescue, there might be gas, so let's go with that. Fleeing to a rest stop. Okay. Din's also a punching, right? Oh, no, no, he isn't. We gotta give him the weapon. The weapon, TM. Okay. Yeah, remember we're tired, so we can't do as much physical activity. You guys there? Good. Let's see if we can rescue that person. Toilet loot. Remember, in a zombie apocalypse, check every toilet. <laughs> people apparently poop out bullets and and uh, tanks of gas, and not the farty gas, but the type you could drive with.
I've been playing. Oh, wow, it's over already. That, that was that was quick. Oh, I'm too tired to lift that. Din, are you strong enough to lift? Yes, you are. It's the best way to take care of mobs. I would like to think I would be. I would survive a little bit in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Again, I would like to think. I don't know if that I would, necessarily, but... Alright, we'll risk you in just a second, dude. I would probably be emotionally scarred, though, in the zombie apocalypse. It's probably, like, a guarantee, and I'd probably be... I'd probably br mentally break down before I physically break down. I would... Again, I would like to think. Because it's not the zombies you have to worry about in the zombie apocalypse, it's the people, as The Walking Dead has proven. Alright, you're sweaty. Uh, let's go switch back to Ch Jameis. Luckily, Seamus is pretty fit, so he can actually take, do a little bit uh, longer damage there. Oh, stay in a little bit longer, even though he's tired. Alright, there's no toilet loot in here, we can just go. And we out. You catches up with the group. Uh, a safe point, what are you going to give me? Gas or training? How is our gas? Gas is more valuable overall. Strength chain would have been nice, but yeah. Really need to be careful with the supply of gas as we get more gas. Car collecting bandits. Scarcity's gonna die, and maybe Seamus. Uh, plow through them. That wasn't as bad as it could have been. And if each happens, you have to go all out. Fire! Oh no! No one's smart! Oh man, I don't think anyone here is that smart. Oh no. This may end our run, or at least kill off half of our people. Din, I'm gonna have you hold anything I'm worried about losing. Because he's the most likely one to possibly survive. Yeah. Well, Seamus is loyal, that's interesting. Um, Scarcity's never wise, so no. Uh, Wolf is a dog in clothing, so I doubt he's smart. We have to choose between Din and Seamus. Oh no. Uh, I'm gonna say Din. No, Din's got all that strength. He probably won't have wits to Seamus. He panics, but he plans the fast way out, and he has okay wits. Oh, that could have been bad. Thank you. I'm glad he's average. Really? After surviving that, we get a, yet another bandit attack. Like, really? Though, that is such crap. Our choice is to lose at three people by running away, because that's what will happen if we run away. Or giving up half of our goddamn supplies already. Like, we just got escaped all that. You know what? I'd rather die. So, get ready. Half the team, if not all the team, is going to die. Yep, Scarcy and Wolf. That's okay. Wolf I was planning to get rid of anyway, and Scarcy uh, was just a bandit. I'm glad Seamus survived. Hi, <sighs> know me, don't you know me? Uh, shooting training. Nothing to sell. 
Ah, uh, man, I wish I had a little bit more food. I could have bought a chainsaw. But chambers can't equip. Silencer. Nothing's really good. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I was debating on maybe just buying the chainsaw anyway, but no. I got all the supplies still. I'm gonna carry the meat cleaver on me. See, I knew, uh... I knew Dim would be able to survive it, because he had the extra health, but yeah. There's nothing worth it here. This is some bullcrap. You're not helping. And now it's a siege. Are you still tired? No, you're not. Okay. Just in case there's no light. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Well, Din and Chamus are decent fighters, at least. Meat Cleaver cleaves through multiple enemies, at least. Oh, we gotta get. We gotta move. Chamus, 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 I mean Din, whatever your name is, one of you guys. Uh, what a bad time not to have guns. This run just has it out for me. Alright. This is not looking good. Din's gone. Damn it. I like Din too. But yeah, this this run totally has it out for me with all the bandit attacks coming out at once. He feels inspired. I think morale and one health yield is what we need, because he's the only one surviving right now. Car broke down. He can't fix it. Abandon it. Y you have to. And now this is where all the shit hits. Climb a tree. You got good fitness. Attacked by ants? Come on. And I'm tired. Bakery van for food. And then I have to run through something to get a car, right? Oh no, car muscle car, good. Mini golf. He accidentally destroys the putter. Dark and creepy store. Go in the store by yourself. He keeps calm, takes the loot he finds, and gets out. And we got more medical. You can finally heal yourself a little. I definitely should have brought a support character instead of Scarcy. Apartment with Bark or Bookstore? Uh, Bookstore. Take the umbrella just in case I need it. I feel bad that Din died. Now I'm by myself. See, I could see myself wielding an umbrella, but it would definitely break just as easily as it did just there. <laughs> You know, zombie apocalypse. I've contemplated, like, wielding an umbrella, like, just as a weapon in general. I mean, just in case, you never know. Especially when I played Pokemon Go and it was raining, I'd always carry an umbrella, or could rain. I always carried my umbrella on me, just in case, and, uh, I always wondered if I ever run into somebody that said an asshole, I got something to defend myself with.
couch going? Can't lift the bed. character mode, I'm not getting a lot of rare characters I need. Pokemon? It's Pokemon Go. Yeah. Have you still been playing Pokemon Go, Sarah? Because uh, I heard there's a lot of updates to it. I haven't been because it, the, the area I'm in isn't the same. No, this is Digimon. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. <laughs> and you still playing Di Pokemon Go? How is how is it all with it all with the new updates? So I heard there's like quests and stuff. I see a little bit from my active group and all, but I just don't really I don't play anymore. So yeah, <laughs> it's yeah it's okay. I ignore that mostly. Oh okay, yeah you just use it for a little bit here and there, and that's probably about all. <laughs> I heard the quest get you some rare stuff and all, but it feels like such a, what is called a min-maxer type of thing, where it's sort of like what I would do with games where I was like, I have to get everything, I have to get all the achievements and such, well, they have it like that, but you, for shinies, for perfects, and just, you, know, you just take over the gym at the church, gotcha. And hey, Adventure Potato, I forgot to say that, or Mr. Potato-chan. Surprised you're not taking another nap because that seems to be all you do whenever I'm streaming, huh? <laughs> well, at least you're protecting the church from devastation. Now, if they included Team Rocket as a part of the game, I would totally do that. You up early to do homework? Ugh, that sucks. I didn't realize school started already for you. Are you in college or still high school, uh, Adventure Potato? I remember when I called Ben's soup place and said, "This is the crusty cra Is this the crusty crab?" <laughs> yeah, Ben's doing okay, by the way. He's uh, got his own place. He has his own DDR machine. He hasn't told me where he lives yet, though. <laughs> but he invited me <laughs> still. It started a week ago. Gross. In, my, in uh, Sarah and I's area, uh, school doesn't normally start until September, like right after Labor Day. I mean, college, it could start earlier, I think, though. I never had to, though. We get Labor Day off. Yeah, we would have Labor Day off, too. It's just, again, right after. So, that is for public schools. It might be different for if you're, say, going to Catholic or other religious schools. But for our state, anyway. Man, poor Seamus. He had to out-survive all of his companions. I like Seamus's design though, how I how I got the clothes and all the stuff that I was able to give him. <laughs> it's unfortunate he can't use guns or chainsaws though. Did I miss a room? No I didn't. Okay. But yeah, I wanted to just get back into some Death Road to Canada because it's a relaxing, fun game. It's a nice way to decompress and such. We got Labor Day all. Yes, and Blast Toys. Very good. We, most people get would get Labor Day off anyway. Actually, I'm off this Labor Day um, from work, which I'm lucky about. So. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, but also, uh, I forgot, I don't know if I told you, Sarah, but I did have, I did get the interview with my sister's friend's place, but, uh, unfortunately they went with another person. Um, they originally were going to do it into two jobs, if they could, but, and they were recommending me for the second one. But the person uh, that they gave it to wanted a lot more money. I'm, I'm flying other places, though. There's, I really don't care for... Well, I don't care for the job because I, there's not much to... There's nothing to, new to challenge me. It's just either stress or just... Uh, or just boring. It's never anything interesting. And that's what bugs me the most. Plus, you've already I've already told you some horror stories, so... <laughs> Speaking of horror stories, we're in the bookstore. Should we talk about bookstore bathrooms again? <laughs> that was funny when you no, and No Life Queen were, and I were talking about all those bathroom horror stories. <laughs> They're public bathroom stories, anyway. Unfortunately, I don't have any new material, though. <laughs> I just, I love that memory where we were all going like, oh, the grossness. <laughs> yeah. Adventure Potato, do you have a gross public bathroom story? <laughs> Moron's Guide to Surgery. His medical goes up. And now he can heal himself. Good. We got plenty of food. We gotta find somebody. To join our party because Seamus is by himself. Come on. <laughs> Fishing cabins in small suburb. Fishing cabins. People still pee on the seats in college. Yeah, that never changes because people are lazy and don't want to lift the, the chair even though they could do so with their goddamn foot in the men's room at least. Some people, some adults will just poop on the damn floor and then fling it all around as we heard from No Life Queen, so, ugh. Or just use a urinal, exactly. But some people are, are pee shy, I kind of get that though, and don't want to, uh, and don't want to, uh, what do you call it? Don't like to pee next to other people or around other people. So, like, every now and then I kind of get pee shy, I don't want to... If someone's like gonna be right next to me or something, I, I can't. It takes me a while. The worst is when you're at work or something and you you go to a urinal and then like someone comes up to you and goes start talk, having a conversation like your coworker and I'm like, go away! I want to pee. I had that happen when I was at Target and I was like, what? The, why are you doing this? Why? 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 <laughs> and of course it was like a like a front end manager too. <laughs> Put in dividers. Not all of them have good dividers. Yeah, you don't have that problem, Sarah. <laughs> I mean, do you... I, I don't know if you also have people that try to talk to you uh, between uh, stalls, but still. Because I imagine that is a possible thing. gonna throw stuff at these guys. I don't sometimes old people do, okay. I mean I don't mind if it was set, like if I was in a stall, I wouldn't mind people asking like if I had more toilet paper or something because they ran out. That's fine. But uh if they have a conversation no stop it. Bathroom is a private spot. You want to talk to me? Wait till I'm at the at the sink washing my hands. You know, that's fine then. Dropping off the gun because Seamus can't use it. Well, you have IBS, so every bathroom is a horror story. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that you have that issue, but very well way to put it. Wait for a fish. Wish for food, wish for a fancy weapon, or wish for power. Let's go with a fancy weapon. He 
jumps back into the water. Oh, fuck, a minigun that Jameis can't use. If I asked for wealth, I would have got a lot of food by cooking the fish. If I asked for power, I don't know about that one. Well, we're good now. My temporary pastor has Crohn's disease, so the bathroom is a horror after she gets out. Oh, no. Wait, what's Crohn's disease? I mean, if you could say it without getting too detailed, if it's gross. It's Alana! Alana can use guns. She's a gungeoneer or something. Or celiac disease, actually. Again, I'm not very familiar. Helping someone in need. Help them up. Alana's morale increases. You know, this is a rare characters mode, and we're not getting any rare characters. That due to the bowels. I think it's silly to see. She has not grown. She's allergic to wheat. Oh, and so if she eats wheat, it goes right through her or something, maybe. And pays for it later. Oh, it's sort of like the person that's lactose intolerant and that goes for it anyway. Brought up apartment or hermit's crab. I was gonna call it the hermit's crab. She explodes in the toilet. <laughs> One day she was doing just fine, and all of a sudden, pfft. <laughs> you know what? You could just keep shooting, Atlanta. That's going to be your thing, and I'll be the punchier. And then it doesn't all flush, and she doesn't check. Oh God! I wish I didn't know this now. <laughs> but thank you for at least informing us. Oh. All right, I'm gonna say shoot in just so Lana will actually shoot. Lana, you stop sucking. I got myself killed trying to rescue her. He survives how long, Lana? And then you just get caught up really easy because you don't want to shoot. I should have started with her, obviously, because she's stupid. You're not killing... You're not eating Seamus. No. That's... Was that so hard, Alana? This game does not want me to have companions at all. No. No, bad zombies. You're not eating him. Jameis did a damn good job getting us here, and I will not let you eat him. Just because you're being an idiot uh, doesn't mean that he needs to pay for it. Why am I not picking up food, anyway? Hermit is slightly less inferior. Well, what's up? Ask him to join you. Of course I'm not going to join you. What an asshole. But God damn it, she got him killed. I'm gonna take the chainsaw though. So I'd rather use the bathroom in the church basement. <laughs> yeah, I dropped the pistol because we have an extra. We have at least one more flashlight. I am sorry, Jamie, that Alana's an idiot and you tried to save her by being a nice person. I couldn't switch to her in the middle of that. <sighs> And where's the goddamn rare character? Seriously. Who are you talking to, Alana? You're by yourself. So I have to do a reading response to a chapter in a book. I really picked one about ways couples can communicate online. How can I stretch out use Discord to 300 words? 300 words is not that bad. 
Lana already got hit once. If I refuse him to fight, she's pretty much dead. Six food is not that bad. Couples communicate online, not just through Discord, though, but they also do FaceTime, they do webcam, they do... Let's see, they play games together, they can... They can, uh... Let's see... There's a lot of different... There's a couple of different ways. I mean, there's just general communication, then there's, like, interacting with games, there is... Uh watching things together online, like watching that same YouTube video online and talking about it, or streams and such. There's a couple things they could do. Alana probably can't fix the car. So to read the article, they didn't even say Snapchat. <laughs> whatever, Alana, attempt it. You're not gonna do it, but whatever. She's terrible at mechanics. And then she's gonna get hurt, right? Same duck for bandit. Luckily, we have the food to do this. That's not much, so I, I, I'm willing to pay. And we get our food back. Yay! MPGs. Hybrid cars. Oh, they're fragile. Oh, God. Him? I hate him, but I need somebody on my team. He's going to make the screen shake every time he uses a gun. Plan it tomorrow. It turns out the group isn't really that great at planning things. Oh, jeez. She sucks. Shoot it. Who says it? Whip out the guns. The plan sometimes work. The tree is blown apart after using a lot of ammo. Trader camp. Put that away, you're gonna hurt somebody. At least we have enough pistol ammo. Axe merchant. Well, we don't have Chamus anymore, so we can't wield awesome axes. Thank you, Alana. Uh. Same with this. We could have used the Mega Maul if we had a uh, friggin' Chamus still. Neither of us are very strong, though, to wield that anymore. I am mad at her. I am so mad at her. Can you sell medical? Yeah, we may, we may as well get some. Just to play it safe. Fucking Atlanta. Shotgun ammo? Eventually, those Zombo points are going to be used off more often. Oh, another siege. Maybe you'll get this guy killed too, Alana, huh? Go for broke. Oh, Billy, stop hogging the ammo. Great. Well, if I'm going to have screen shake, we're going to have him. I'm going to be him. Why are you wielding first? Why don't you attack first? No. I said, why don't you attack for Oh, wait. I know why. I have shooting on. We'll do either. Oh, dude. Not soft focus. Nah, I can't read right now. Oh, the screen shake. I hate it. It's not like the weapon... I don't think the gun's even that str much stronger or anything, either. Oh, this hurts my head. Oh, that- this- this is dizzying. Oh god, I hate it. I hate him so much right now. I hate him so much, oh my god. And he's hogging all my pistol ammo. Oh, that hurt. That hurt my head. Oh, God, that was dizzying. I guess it's forever now. It sure feels like forever. 
We feel inspired after that. We'll go with strength. So, can we get a rare character? Someone barricade the house? Alana. She sucks. Yeah, okay, so let's, we've learned a lesson here. Never rely on Alana. God. At least not in the beginning. Gasoline can. We got plenty of gas. Room, totem, rifle. We don't have the morale to deal with this, so no. Fish, fish, fish. Another trader camp. Oh, fuck. Everything's on fire. Which means cheap deals. We must get those cheap deals, guys. <laughs> Mega Mall for 10 food? That's amazing. I wish we had someone that could wield it. Mm, Alana. We'll get the medical for free food. And... Yeah, as much as I want to, we don't have the food for it now. Thanks, Alana. I'm, gonna, I'm not letting her live this down. Until she dies, anyway. Or makes it to Canada. Okay, let's get out of here. We have a crappy-ass team here. Thanks, Alana. <laughs> Untouched grocery store. Sardine pack and it's nightfall. Alright. I'm gonna be Alana for this, then. We have no pistol ammo because Billy's hogging them. Damn it, Billy. Screw you, Billy. I'm gonna take the chainsaw with me just because we have so much gas and it, they said sardine pack. I only have ammo for a cowboy rifle because of him. But we're gonna get lots of food at least. I just want to get the danger out of here. Let's get the danger out of here. I don't know how a tire iron is considered light. Oh, fuck, no! No, this is life now, and I hate it. I want to let him die, but I could use the extra body. Alright, chainsaw out. First. You know what? Before I go in, I'm going running back to the car, refilling my gas, and getting a flashlight because apparently I was not smart enough to bring that with me. It's a matter of ammo anyway. And there we go. Refilled my gas. gas up like that. Again, if I had a better group, Alana, we could have been handling this just fine.
Get off me. This this round is really just try, is just actively trying to screw me. I swear. But we're getting a lot of food at least. Hey Billy, why don't you attack instead of just standing there or you gather stuff? For some reason, an author is trying to make an argument that Google Hangouts are hard to use because they can't find somewhere quiet. I don't know. I just use headphones and talk like a normal person. Yeah. Mention that in your essay if, if you're critiquing it. I like the skull with spine accessory. That's actually pretty good. It's a better weapon than tire iron. gathering all the food in the center hall first before I unleash the hordes that are likely behind uh, the doors. That is a lot of food, though. We'll be able to buy whatever we need at the next trading camp. Oh, did you, op did you open the door? No, thank you. Wait. All right, flashlight out. We may manage to get through all those, so we want to make sure we get all the food. All the food. Untouched grocery store is amazing yet annoying. All right, let's go behind door number one here. Behind us comes first, because uh, we want to make sure we have an escape route. Billy, if you die, you suck. Taking a moment to rest up and let them come at us. This is going to be a long one. Billy, your turn. Atlanta's tired. What did you do? Alana, what the fuck is wrong with you? No. You don't pick up a fucking tire iron to lose it and lose a chainsaw, you dumbass. I'm in school, boy. Have a good day and I watched the vid. Bye. Alright, thanks, Chris TV. Alana sucks, by the way. I thought she would be a good addition because she could use guns. Nope. Do, do a thing, please. Because I can't trust fucking Atlanta with anything. God. She starts chainsawing a wall. Chainsawing a wall. Like a smart person there. It's like, really? Oh, there you go. Instant weapon in the, in the poop chute there. I didn't call it that, but whatever. That was door number one. Next. Let's 
the first thing you do when you guys have uh, chainsaws, right? Chainsaw wall. This is better than chainsawing the floor in Duck Game. I don't know. I don't think I've played Duck Game, but that sounds equally stupid. where you build up ducks and put them through stuff or whatever. <laughs> I think I saw Jacksepticeye play is why, but I'm not positive. There's so many duck things these days. And it's like a whole series of games or something too. When you do it, it propels you forward like a rocket. Eh. for food. You know bandits are going to come right after this, right? They're going to demand all our food or we die. It's like tower fall but with guns. I uh, and I didn't I have not played or seen it. Oh, it's just junk there. It's okay. No! Get off of me. All right, Billy, you you need to do things. Uh, yeah, you should be able to do things because Elena has a weapon that's not the chainsaw man. I hate you, Billy, too. Elena to the rescue. Yeah. Billy, what the fuck? Billy has some medical healing at least, so that's good, but ugh. Alright, that should be it. Let's see how bad it got out there. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Eat your rice and curry. If you know that song, you're awesome. Go, 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 go. We escape with 74 food, and it's at 40 a.m. Wow. Yo, what's up, Billy boy? Over to the two. Oh no, who's loyal? We don't know. Alana's been failing. Billy, you do it. He does bring back food, good. Remember fun? I remember fun. Man, I miss fun. Oh, really? We got another thing? I want to stop at a shop here. Or arcade, I guess. We need ammo, big time. Because he's hogging it all. I'm going to put the chainsaw away so she doesn't use it like an idiot. And that's basically it. I guess I'll bring that along too because it's a decent weapon. Get rid of the knife. Let's go. I'm making Billy do the work first and then I'll go with Lana. just stands there and then shoots them. There, you could, yeah, you could kill the ones that fall down, at least.
we're pretty much good on. Medicine. Now, it lied to me. It looked like it was not. Oh, it looked like it was uh, had something that might have been in it, but I didn't see the sparkle. I should have looked for the sparkle. Is that a femur? Not that I even need the food anymore, but okay. Chambers was still here, we would have been having a much easier time, huh, Lana? I still prefer her over Billy, because Billy is annoying. And has no inventory space for anything new. Next time I bring Sarah, though. Even though Sarah is suicidal, she's at least useful. I still haven't seen many rare characters. I mean, Billy's technically a rare character, but it's, you, normally we see a lot of them. said anything to uh, Avenger Potato, but I never played Towerfall either. I've been playing a lot of Stonehearth still. I found ways to make the game work. Uh, like tricks and such. I'll probably show that another time, though. Alright, we can screw that. I got a box. It's okay. I'm glad I brought it with me now. <laughs> Holy crap. And garbage house. Anything down? Ah, there it is, the arcade. I'm going to get back into Minecraft now that I have a server. Alrighty. People in said server aren't five. Or beginners, or noobs, or babies. Play the arcade game. Shooting goes up. I didn't mean to break this, but yeah. Okay, time to leave. After we look in here, what's here? Bathroom? Don't care. Except for this one. See those words could describe describe Travis. Mm. Yeah. I'm glad he's a good sport about us roasting him though. <laughs> Alright, car, where for art thou? I don't have my flashlight and I really want it. There we go. Oh, here we go. Car, go! Car, go! Car, go! You are a car, you go! 
Therefore, go. Go. Holy crap. The car's ready to go already. <laughs> fish, fish, fish. Teach medical skills. Because uh, he can't, he's not a good mechanic, I don't think. Fish. Uh, attempt to fix it. Nope, he can't. Surprising nobody. Here come bandits. Or this. Alright, that's not the worst that could have happened. This is the worst that could happen. Two in a row. Come on, game. Checking out for a car. The, the game has it royally out for me. Like, normally it's not this bad. He just did that, so now the zombies are way right after us. Thank you. I'll take that gas and let's get the amps great. Go, go, go. Just go to sleep. We're not chopping wood. We should try to set the zombies on fire more. Easiest way. Obviously. Quiet town. Loot quickly and run, because if you scavenge thoroughly, you get hurt. Can we just go to freaking a freaking uh, trader camp already? Jeez. Pepper cabin. I'm just getting sick of all this, and I have so much food that I want to use it on getting better gear. Oh, you have a flashlight, you don't need to bring it with you then. It's daytime. This run is not doing very well on my sanity. Personal sanity. There's loads of people. Ammo. I'm taking the ammo, not you, Billy. But screw you. The only thing you're good for is medical. Also, don't use the rest of machete. You can't equip it very well. We don't need an extra pistol. Or two. Oh, but apparently I do need another sporting equipment thing, because she broke it on a freaking couch. And she broke another one. Wow. You rule, don't you? She can't wield the rusty machete very well. Cars and gadgets, okay. This run has been pretty damn terrible. There hasn't even been any new achievement characters to run into, or even buy. And Chame has died because of Atlanta! So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna harp on that. Uh, Billy, because apparently he's good with mechanical or something. I don't know. Hmm. Not very good. Yeah, we'll pay the 10 food because... Fuck that. Now, can we get to a trading camp? Trading camp. Last trading camp. Time to talk about stuff. Okay. Uh, Lana. Let's see how bad you suck. 
Pretty bad. Fish. All right, let's spend this food. That could be long stocking. I'll take her. Have a shotgun. We'll travel. Let's recruit her. She's got also okay strength. Good. I wish uh, Billy wasn't in the party though, because he's going to hog all that. Mighty Claymore we could buy, or a Night Sword. I wish we had the strength for that, Alana. We're gonna get we're gonna focus on ammo. What is this? For fitness? Yeah, whatever. And Wilbur! Got really good ammo stuff. Okay. I mean, uh, guns and such. What about you? Flamethrower, assault rifle, and grenades. No. I want ammo. Give me ammo. Ammo blammo, damn it. What are you? You're buying gas? Yeah, you are. No, nope, we're not doing that. I'm gonna buy my cowboy rifle. Fuck you. We don't have very good weapons. Um, not much to sell either. Ernestine. We need a beamer. At least it's something, right? Alright, since we got a lot of food and we don't have any fucking bullets to buy, let's buy a night sword. Which, why not? Not the claymore, because the claymore's too heavy. I want to see if it was a bunch of wieners. Sure, why not? We'll recruit you too, because we need another person anyway. We could use another person anyway, and if you die, cool. Don't worry, Atlanta will get you killed. Night sword. They have specialty guns in here, I think, and that's it. Guns and grenades, that's it. We already have two gunners. Alright, there's four of us, which means they eat two each, which is eight food. I could spend... And I want to make sure I have at least 16, so... 13 food I could spend more. What else do you have? Wilbert robs the trader. No. Sturdy machete for 12. That works. That's actually a decent weapon. Alright, you can you're gonna attempt to carry the knight sword, even though I have very little faith in you on that. Also, may as well get rid of the cowboy one and just have the minigun on you. And you could wield the sturdy machete. And Wilbur... She is okay strength enough. Why not? It's terrible. I don't know anything about your strength, so... You're just gonna be given the leftovers here. Oh, we actually have ammo for more bullets here? Oh no, he, he's going to be using them. Give him the meat cleaver. Okay. To Canada, guys. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Alright, second to last siege. Bring in the uh, chainsaw just in case. Oh, and she's gonna suck with this. I'm 
I'm gonna see how Mr. Wilbert does with this. About the same. Trust her a computer AI. Oh god, no, not this. Alright, we're cornered. Please stop doing that. I can't see shit. Ugh. I can't control two idiot characters at once. I could if I had someone here with me to play, but then it still wouldn't guarantee you after survival, but ugh. interesting to say. If they did, that'd be very creepy, wouldn't it? Shooting. We may as well do shooting since everyone's a shooter. So Billy and Alana now have very good shooting. And Ernestine has good shooting. Above average shooting. And Wilbert sucks. This cafe doesn't taste that bad. Dexterity up. Let's do this. The city of crushed dreams. And I have no ammo. There's no ammo left for poor Alana here. Because Billy's fucking hogging it all. What a dick. That's the problem with Billy. You know, I'm gonna bring that anyway because we can run into ammo. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give this to Wilbur just to hold on to because I don't. Yeah. And I'll bring the pistol along as well just so, again, just to have it. Yeah, Wilbur, you're gonna be our pack meal. Medical. There we go. Go. Uh, there's food that doesn't matter. Grenades? No. but I'm not picking that up. Don't worry, I got this. Okay. Hang on, we're getting surrounded again. Back it away. Headaches. Oh God. I hate you, Billy. That's 
all the ammo I got of that. Oh, stop doing that, Billy. You're messing me up. I mean, you're killing things, but it's really obnoxious. Oh, area bombs. Let's go. Let's get away from the area. Perfect. Alright, everyone. Okay. I'm not throwing it yet. Okay. team here. I mean, they're working, but I hate them. <laughs> it's okay, guys. I got this. What the? Normally, they can't do that, but okay. Fine. Good, I do have bullets here, and that's her specialty. At least I got something that's not Billy hogging anyway. Not the best ammo, but... that we couldn't get into before. Ammo. Dumbo. Gas. Ammo. That's good? Okay. Alright, he healed us up. And now we're on our way to Canada. Oh, he broke his stuff. Here, have a crowbar. There's no ammo for anyone but Billy, because Billy's the most important, you know. <sighs> Billy. Let's go. Extreme. You can tell how excited I am, because the team sucks. And there wasn't any real, a lot of uh, rare characters for achieving. I think the the tippy longstocking looking girl might be okay. Like she might be an achievement, I'm not sure. She's shotgun a shotgun girl, so whatever. And suddenly Atlanta's now the star of this, even though she killed the main star here. Shooting, but no, Billy has to be an asshole. Yeah, guys, you guys could defend for a moment while I take a moment because this sword is just so heavy for Atlanta. Do I really have to get the chainsaw out again? Very well. The last bit. Let's just. I'll just leave it running. I just, I just have to charge through. May 
as well kill everyone. Oh god, don't do that. Damn it, Billy. That way, when Mr. Captain Canada dude pops in, he's supposed to pop in further down. But there we go. Because if you stay up here, sometimes you get stuck to the corner and it takes you a little bit longer. I wish we could break these things. That'd be kind of cool. Take a chainsaw to everything. Alright, anyway, enough dicking around. Canada, yay! I hope we got an achievement. Nope! <sighs> Pippi Longstocking there did not help at all. That was a terrible waste of time, wasn't it? I met a bunch of weirdos. Yes, you did, Ernenstein. People on the death road, yep. Must be friends five ever. Ernestine came up with a wildly popular fitness program based on her zombie survival experience. Ah, I did it. Wilbert wrote a popular zombie survival game that was just full of bad advice. God, sorry. Why are we there yet? Really got kicked out of Canada for refusing to give up guns. Good. Easy. Alana shot a penguin by accident, violating the Canadian Prime Directive. Even though there's not supposed to be Can penguins in Canada. I didn't get an OP character, so screw you, game. Oops. I already got everything here. I'm thinking of making a new character. You know, yeah, let's do it. First things first. Gotta figure out what they're gonna have traits of. Top sell. You know what? I don't think I've ever done a top seller before. I mean, unless that's uh, now what Willow is. I, I don't remember. Pathfinder, natural shot. I don't know what the TSTC stands for, I forget. Either way, this is going to be an anime fan. I'm going to replace with an overpowered strong katana. Katana can't be dropped even on death. Avoid getting full morale because you beware of anime. <laughs> they're an anime fan, it's a very good katana that's not breakable. We'll want them to be strong, I guess. Ultra fit, friend of dog. Surgeon. Not a big bruiser. Well, that is a big bruiser anyway. Well, that's what uh, Din used to have. What? Start at full strength, may train strength six times over maximum, can't raise fitness. That's what you got. Uh, Pathfinder trademark weapon is already done with him. Um, ultra fit. You know, we'll go with ultra fit. This is going to be Satori. Now let's design him. This section up. 
seems different. Uh, we'll do... Yeah, you know what? That's what works. He's an anime fan. He needs anime hair, doesn't he? That'll work. Anime fan with anime hair. Do I need a hat? I don't see a hat that screams anime. That one's not far from Naruto, maybe, but eh. Yeah, go with, yeah, just anime hair. Those aren't anime class. Well, let's see. Any anime classes? No. Those aren't too bad. But, uh, nah, we'll just go with this. Oh yeah, he has no beard. Uh, we'll save you. And there we go. We got an anime fan now. Let me see. Mechanic. He's already ultra fit, though. Well, I have him as a speedster. Is there anything else that fits Canic? I want to. I'm trying to make sure I got like different characters for everything here. Hidden potential. No, that's a lot. That's Terry. else that would fit Satori then. Hmm. Yeah, I'll figure this off another time. For now, we got a new character. That's good enough. I don't want to take too long on that. Anyway, I'm ending the stream there. It's an early morning stream anyway, so I'll be back probably later today. I got to do a couple things still. Also, I need to eat. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.